Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror your Oculus Go to your PC. I'm going to try to knock this out as quickly as I can here. <clears throat> all right, first thing that we're going to need to do, and all these links will be in the description, we're going to go to this uh, Oculus website and we're going to register ourselves as a developer. Just go ahead and type the, your, your name here and then just go ahead and click submit. Next thing we do is we need to put our Oculus Go into developer mode. And to do that, get out your phone, open up the Oculus app, click on settings, click on your Oculus, and your Oculus will need to be on or you won't be able to, to see the next part. Once it's connected, you'll have an option on there for more settings. Then you'll see developer mode, and then you just click the toggle next to developer mode. After you click on it, uh, you're all set. Uh, as far as the Oculus goes. Now let's get the software set up for your uh, on your computer. You're going to need to go to this Android developer site and download the SDK platform tools. I'm using Windows so this would be the link that I click. The next thing you're going to need to download is a program called SCRCPY screen copy and I'm using Windows 10 so that is also the one I click and next we need to set up a new folder on our C drive. So you click new folder and we're going to name it ADB. I already have that folder so no need to create another one. Next thing that we're going to do once everything's done downloading is we will have two zip files. We're going to do platform tools first. You're going to right click on it, choose extract all, and extract to that ADB folder. And then the same thing with screen copy. Now let's go take a look at the ADB folder. It should look like this. If it doesn't, and all you have there are two folders, you're going to need to go into each one of those folders, cut and paste the, those files that are in there onto this main folder here under ADB. Um, and once, once you got that, oh, and when you do that, when you're copying over the screen copy uh, portion, it does have three of the same files, so you can just skip those. Okay, and now that we have the software on there, we need to configure the software to talk to your Go. Now, mine's already configured, so I'm just going to write the commands out, but I'm not going to execute them on my screen. But the first thing we're going to do and I, is we do have to change the directory to the ADB folder. Okay, once we're in there, what we need to do now is to configure it. The first command that you're going to type in is ADB space USB, and you hit enter and it'll say something like restarting in USB mode. Then you're going to type in um, ADB space shell space IP space route. Now I can go ahead and type that one in and this second IP address right here that is going to be the IP address of your Oculus Go. So in order to connect, the next thing you would type in is ADB space connect space and then that IP address. Dot one dot one six for me. And then you would hit enter. Now just to double check to make sure that everything everything worked out, type in ADB space devices. Okay and it should have an attached device there. Mine shows up uh, like this because it's, it, it, it automatically connects and it, it connects through the MAC address now. Um, so if, if you have it connected, we have a device there, then this is the last command we need to put in here, right here. To launch screen copy. And it, this command and all the and all the commands will be in the description as well. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in there and enter. Oops. Okay. 
And as you can see, 